Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. We are finally starting to see some real differences between Leon and Claire's journey in this game. Last episode, we got to play as Sherry, where she's being held captive by the corrupt Chief Irons. It didn't go well for him after some really tense hide and seek moments. He seemed to be killed by William Birkin. But now, as Claire, we finally have access to the parking garage and we can escape and hopefully make our way to the orphanage. I really, really do hope we get to go to the orphanage, because that would be a brand new area. There is the problem of trying to get there because, of course, Inspector Gadget is around. So I need to check my map, actually. What's the best way to get there? The best way is through the secret elevator. How can I forget it? It's been so long since we've been back here. But look, there's that secret lift shaft that takes us down right to the garage exit, which is good because hopefully we'll bypass tons of potential run-ins with Inspector Gadget. Have I definitely got the key card in my possession? There it is. We also have, what do we have? We've got some grenades in our grenade launcher. We've got some bullets for our SMG. And we have one lonely round for this pistol. Right, I really hope you know who doesn't come out of anywhere. I think he almost definitely will. Oh god, okay, that wall almost scared me. Hey, it's pretty quiet. I don't want to tempt fate, but we might be alright. Okay, stick that in there, Claire, and let's hope. Yes. Is he? Is he? Oh my fuck. Oh my god. I could hear him. Please go away. Please go away. All we've got to do is just get around him, right? Are we speeding up? No, he won't. Oh, he missed. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with your haymakers, dude? They didn't land at all. I guess we're running outside then. I don't want to let him free. Wait, can we? Can that shut on the other side? Nope. Oh, there's a green herb there, though. Oh dear. Uh, what do we do? We need to think. We have no healing items. I actually want that green herb so much. Come on then. We're sick of uh, playing by your rules. We're going to double back. Let's get into a wide open space. Is there zombies out here? Yeah, look dude. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're going to miss with that punch. I know you are. Oh, God, what am I doing? Playing Ring Around the Roses with Mr. X. This is stupid. Okay. Come here. Sweet herb. Now what? Now what? It'd be stupid if I get hit straight away so I have to use it immediately. That would be the dumbest thing we could ever do. God, he looks so mad. Imagine having a, a weird gate like that, stomping through. <laughs> i got to be honest, right? Each time I run into him, the fear is alleviating more and more. He's not scary. He's just a big dude with a funny walk. Nothing to worry about. Now, the orphanage. If I was an orphanage, where would I be? Maybe down here? There's also an ambulance. There's so much going on. Who's that? Is that a human or a zombie? Oh crap, I think they're zombies. Oh! Oh no, okay, I'm a little bit scared. Oh crap, oh crap, where is he? Where is he? No, don't get hit! I said don't get hit, come on man. Get off me, get off me, take that grenade in your mouth. Dinner is served. Where's Mr. X? I don't know where he went. Okay, don't look back. Somehow we didn't take any damage. Here's the only way forward. How did we not take any damage? Where did he go? Seriously, he, he's such a juxtaposition of a character. He comes out of nowhere and he's just gone in the wind. You hear him stomping like a tornado coming towards you or an earthquake. And then just like that, he's like a wisp of air. But that's actually terrifying. He's still got a stupid walk though. And I'm not as confident as I was now of our ammo situation. We've only got sort of 60, 70 odd bullets left in this. They decline very... Oh no, there's the dogs. It's been a while since we've seen the dogs. Now, do we have to go that way? Because I could try and cut out the dogs already. Man, if that one was just around there. If I could get two at a time. Oh no, look at you. What are you doing here? If only you could stealth attack. He definitely can't. Oh, man, she's wearing denim shorts out in this weather as well. It's got to catch her death. Oh, I need to get over here. There we go. Oh! What, what, what? No! Piss off. Yes, okay, he's dead. Now she's coming. Oh my god. What is it with these zombies uninviting themselves to every encounter we have? It's alright, Claire. Stay calm. There's one more dog about. Just need to see the dog before it sees us. 
Oh my god, it's on top of the car. What an unruly animal. Yes, okay. Incredibly weak, though. <laughs> we only have 32 bullets left. Are you an orphanage? No, you're not an orphanage. Oh, man. Oh, is that an orphanage, do you think? What do orphanages look like? Do they have stereotypical like, looks? There's one more dog. Would it be stupid? Or oh, I kind of want to see what happens. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Dinner served. If there's any other zombies who'd like some flame grilled dog and or person. Oh man, that's overkill. But you've got to try and think. It's better to use one grenade when we only have 32 bullets left. That's my reasoning. So we must have to go through that little area there. I'm just looking for any sort of ammo, gunpowder, anything that could help us. So I think very soon we're going to find ourselves in a bad situation. Especially if more dogs come hopping over the fence or something ridiculous, which they could well do. There you go. Speak of the devil and he would appear in a mangy muck form. I'm going to grab... Oh, look. Okay. The game's helping us. And then I'll take this and combine it with you. There we go. So we've got some good health. Um... Oh, he's in. Some good health bits now. I think we're all right for the SMG. I say it's so bad. It's fine. We're just killing mercilessly dog after dog. <laughs> Alright, I shouldn't sound so sadistic as I laugh there. Is that it? Is that it for the dog attack? The dog army? Oh, there's one more. We'll just open the door for him. There you go. Right, thankfully they are really not as tough as I feared. I think with Leon the problem is we only had like single shot weapons. And with an automatic weapon they, they drop pretty easily. Yeah, that must be the orphanage. Big and horrible looking. Look at all these cars. Is that bullets? No, that's a bit of rubble. This is new ground to tread, and it's pretty cool so far. It's nice to be outside for an extended period of time. Even if we are just going to go straight into an orphanage. Oh, I just had a horrible fall. I don't think the game would, but what if we have to kill zombie orphans? I don't want to do that at all. I mean, I will. But it's not going to be fun. Like the dog killing is. Now, you're going to grab me. I know you are. God. Are they in here as well? Okay, a grenade. There you go. Quiet on the bus. Oh, I nearly missed you. Is there dogs? I think there's dogs trying to get on the bus. That'd be ridiculous. You can't have dogs on a bus. Yeah, step back. Oh, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, take it easy. To oh my god, okay. Take it very easy, Claire. Get away from me, you mutt. Is there, is there two dogs or is it one very fast dog? Yes. He's down, he's down. Oh, God, Claire made me more nervous than the actual zombie dog. Screaming step back and son of a bitch. I mean, it, it's kind of true, actually. That was a very apt observation there, Claire. He really was a son of a bitch. That's gotta be the orphanage. Yeah. What's it called? Raccoon City Orphanage. Okay, very... Sort of predictable name. I should we move it? What's with the giraffe then? And why is the giraffe of measles? Should it all be raccoons. Whoa. Oh, there were more dogs? <laughs> I had no idea. Hang on, Sherry. Yeah, hang on, Sherry. Literally, while we just try and explore these grounds, see if there's anything we can collect. Maybe a quick go on the slide. You wouldn't be able to, would you? No, okay. We're adults. I don't think there's anything out here. But wait, a couple of graves. Some graves here. Is it worth... Oh, but they're unmarked. Hmm, okay. Unmarked graves outside an orphanage. It's not instilling too much hope this is going to be a, a fun time. Right, so this was chained from the outside. Is this the door that Sherry tried to get through? Yeah, so what happened to the chain? That's the whole reason Sherry couldn't escape. Okay, right, what can we do? Do we have a map in here, I suppose, is the first question. We do. Orphanage front yard. Ah, there's the safe station in the director's room. Hello? I have the pendant! Look, Claire, I don't know if you've done much negotiating in the past, but you don't just show all your chips straight away. Keep them close to your chest. We may have the pendant, 
They say, do you have sherry? And he, then we just go from there. Should I take out the grenade launcher for this? Oh, fuck me! Your fault. What? Took too long. Oh, God. Get off me! Oh, no! Where did the little thing go? Where did his appendix with legs run off to? Well, I'm very happy he's dead. I don't say that lightly. I never wish the life of anyone to be taken, but he was such an arsehole. Look at his guts. They're disgusting. Terrible diet. Right, I don't want to go in here because I know it's going to be a huge monster. But I really need that save point. So, let's give this a go. And faced or armed for... Oh! Okay, I was going to say, is that Sherry? But no, it's the lady we saw on here. But she's still got... She's going to turn to a zombie, isn't she? Sure. There's been some sort of struggle inside here. I imagine that William Birkin was chasing Sherry around. Still convinced that that's her dad. Oh, and then we could go down. Okay. We could go down. But we know there's the whole other floors to this orphanage. I kind of want to see if there's anything worth... Exploring upstairs. That is terrifying. I don't know if you can hear the rattling, but not only is there the creepiest jester doll ever conceived, and things are also rattling. I've got a horrible feeling Pennywise is going to jump out somewhere. Okay, this is where he washed his face. Oh, cool. I like it when the game has reflections. Alright, so let me grab that first aid then. If that's the only thing we're going to find here, so be it. But, I have to swap it for this blue thing. Discard, yes. Take that. Oh, there's a note, okay. A letter from the director. Regarding the incident in question, I'm glad to report that it has all been taken care of. On February 19th, test subject 628 escaped from the lab and broke into our facility. 628 was originally from this facility's candidate, Paul, and apparently returned in the hope of seeking help. Oh, 628 must be that kid that the other kid thought got adopted, but he come back and he said always in the night and all his face was like in sores and it was melting and stuff. 6 to 8 was quickly detained by our staff. As 6 to 8 was undergoing one of the lab's clinical trials, there was a distinct possibility that he had brought the virus with him, so we disposed of all our test subject candidates as a precaution. Their speedy disposal was conducted by a security team, to whom I'd like to extend my thanks. Holy crap, I think that is a very cold-hearted way of saying they killed every orphan in this place, through fear of contamination. As for our neighbours, we told them that due to the building's dilapidated state, we have temporarily moved all of the children to a different orphanage for their safety. As for the future of this facility, once it has been fully decontaminated, I plan to resume securing more test candidates. That is horrible. You don't need me to tell you that. And poor kids, man. Not only were they orphans, but they just end up getting sort of disposed of. Murdered, I suppose is the correct word. I swear to God, this thing is following me. That wasn't there on the way up. Well, regardless, I could sit here and dwell on dead orphans, or we could go down this terrible dark ladder shaft and hopefully try and find Sherry. I suppose we've got to keep on moving forward. There's nothing for us here. You reckon this will take us straight into the sewers? That would be a bit of a gutter. I was hoping that orphanage was going to be a whole place we could hang out in. Uh, where are we now? Okay, we're a bit lower. I wonder if we get to fight the crocodile again, the alligator. Sherry! Where are you? Is she down here? Who would know that there was a hatch underneath? She wouldn't have known that. Claire. <gasps> Sherry, hold me right there. No way. Hey Sherry, how you doing? You done great. Should we go round? Okay. Expect. Oh my god. Expect. No way are you go, here. Go. Oh, I wonder where he went. Claire, keep running, keep running. It's you. I know he is. Don't I know stop. he is. <laughs> he ruined our reunion. Sherry, you need to hurry up. You are the slowest kid I've ever ran behind. What are you doing? Oh, okay, cool. We made it. Oh, no. Yes! 
mean, that's still a problem. Sherry. Sherry. Sherry's fine. Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. I didn't foresee this. Excuse me. Where is she? Hello? What? Oh, Annette, tell me, what happened to William? I don't know. Who's, who is that? The creature responsible for this. What? Can you help me find Sherry? Seems to be evolving much faster than expected. Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. There we go, we got it confirmed. Sherry is the daughter of Annette and William. And I can't believe it. This is so cool. Is that really the end of Mr. X for Claire's playthrough? God, he got torn in half almost. And William coming in with the clutch. I don't know where she went at all, Claire, but we're gonna have to try and find her. But that door was just shut in our face. Oh no, it wasn't, okay. Hmm. So that's an office, okay. Oh man, that was so cool. I'm kind of overcome. But the good news is, I think Mr. X is dead for this run. I think that's the end of him. I think we're only going to have to worry about dear old William now, who doesn't scare me nearly as much. He's a lot more grotesque looking. He really looks like a hemorrhoid with, with like, I don't know, a face. But he's not as scary as Mr. X. Okay, so let's try and recoup. We just found some bullets, which is good. Report about G. The G-Virus clinical trial will be entering its final phase very soon. Before G, the new creature that will surpass humans, is born. Allow me to predict, uh, predict a few things about its biology and biological functions. Intelligence. The subject's intelligence will begin to drop immediately. With their linguistic abilities disappearing within a matter of days, finally they will lose their capacity to reason and their humanity. G will be a creature of pure instinct, driven only by a need to survive and reproduce. Oh man, like a horny wolf. Physical abilities. Due to its unusual accelerated cell division, evolution, it will be highly adaptable to any environment. Furthermore, with its amazing ability to repair itself through regeneration, it will be extremely difficult to completely kill it with any conventional small firepower. See, that's what worries me about Mr. X. We know he can take a huge beating. I think part of him even likes it, so he could be coming back to haunt us. Reproductive behavior. G's most remarkable feature will be its intense desire to reproduce. It will instinctively search out humans with DNA that closest matches its own and implant an embryo in them. But the chances of success are very low and if the DNA is not close enough of a match, an underdeveloped G creature will be produced instead. This must be the zombies we see, right? I suppose the only ones who might be a close enough of a match would be any biological children of the subject though. Okay, so Sherry would be the perfect heir to G. That is not good for her. Let me save this. And there must be some bullets in here for us to take. High-powered rounds. Okay, I don't know what we could use that with. I'm going to leave it there for now. Well, them high-powered bullets are no good to us right now. We don't have any gun that can use them. It's okay. We will now jump down here. Oh, God, that lift. Give me the creeps. I think we're going to be in the sewers. Obviously, it's going to be Claire's turn to try and explore this place. It's a place I don't remember too much from Leon. I know there's, there's the chess pieces. Oh, and then there's this huge sort of sewage monsters. I didn't like them at all. I can imagine the grenade launcher would be good against them, though. 
I remember that bit. We slid down there as Leon, for sure. Now I'm gonna smell like shit. <laughs> it's okay, Kobe. We won't judge you. So I've got a horrible feeling we'll have to reproduce the, the chess puzzle, which I didn't do well with last time. Oh man, there's too many holes here for things to jump out of. I can hear movement. Right, and there's the tram. Now Sherry has a bracelet, so if we're going to get down to Nest, then we must need her to, to help us do it. Car. Here? Yeah, don't be surprised. We know where it goes. See a red herb as well. That's a ladder leading up. Okay. This is kind of familiar, but not quite. I know I've been here before, but it seems so different at the same time. <laughs> Fuck me! What are you doing? Um, can you... Please go away. Don't waste so much bullets, Claire. So, don't waste so many bullets. God, what am I going to do? Come on, come on. This has been an absolute nightmare. What we got in? Oh my god. What an absolute waste of ammo. To think I could be so inaccurate with an automatic weapon at close range. Copy of Emails Umbrella HQ, have we, have we read these? Director Owens, I can hear gunfire, can't reach a section. Yeah, I think we've read these before. Is there anything in here? Please, this be some... Oh, we don't have the thing. Hmm. U. X. K. It was worth a shot. What about in these corners? Oh my god, why did I go in the corner? I didn't know you'd be there. But there is some grenades behind him. Hell is up with you. Okay, they're not getting up yet. <gasps> oh, he is. He got up very quick. Combine that. Good. Shitting hell. I might just leave him where he lays. Yeah, okay. We've got to be on the run because we have not got the, the stuff to take these guys out. Are you good, Claire? What are you doing? Okay, sweet. right there. Did she just fall asleep out of nowhere? Does Sherry have undiagnosed narcolepsy? How did she do that? So that is the room Ada was stuck in. So we are going to need the chess pieces. Is that a map? I think it is. Thank you. Oh, there's bullets in here as well. Good stuff. Have I got room for it? I don't have any room for the bullets. Can you believe it? I had a rejig around and the gun we haven't used in a long time, the revolver, the six shooter, that takes the bullets we just found. Also, I had loads of SMG ammo in there as well, so we're all right again. Right, so this is where we have to get the chess pieces. Does it give us a clue? The rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. Okay, all that same stuff. No worries, find the plugs. We can do that. Guess we've done it once, we can do it again. Sure, it may be tougher this time. Hell, it might even be easier. We don't know, but we have to do it for Sherry. And I guess this is where we're going to leave it for now. If you enjoyed this episode of Resident Evil 2, please go ahead and leave a like. It does help me out a great deal, so thank you if you choose to do so. If you want to see more, I'm going to make it my top priority to find all the chess pieces as quickly and painlessly as possible. Please go ahead and subscribe, and I can bring that to you. Got any questions you want to raise? What do you think about Sherry? How could you explain her knack for falling asleep at any time? Please leave a comment below, and I will make sure I get back to you. Alright? See you!